Five people from Texas are currently facing suspected cases of fungal meningitis following their surgeries in Matamoros, Mexico. This alarming situation led to one fatality with the four remaining patients admitted to hospitals. Now, in response, the CDC, they're strongly advising patients to postpone certain medical procedures in Matamoros, Mexico. Now, health officials, they're currently probing the cases for potential connections and the possibility of more infection instances. The exact pathogen that's causing this outbreak is yet to be identified, according to health officials. However, fungus is considered to be the likely culprit based on biomarkers that's found in the cerebrospinal fluid of at least one patient. So what they do is they get the CSF by doing a lumbar puncture, a spinal tap, and they put it underneath the microscope and they look at the labs that they get from that CSF fluid and the biomarkers that are in those labs are looking very, very suspicious and pointing towards a fungal cause of infection. Now, all the affected patients ranging from their 30s to their 50s, they underwent a procedure involving an epidural. So anesthetic was injected around the spinal column and the symptoms they started to show anywhere from three days to six weeks post procedure. The CDC and the DSHS strongly suggest that patients who have received an epidural in Matamoros in 2023 disclose this information to their doctors due to the potential risk of a fungal infection. They are advised to seek medical attention immediately if they experience symptoms of meningitis, such as fever, headache, a stiff neck, nausea and vomiting, confusion, or sensitivity to light. Now, it's important to note that fungal infections are not contagious and cannot be transmitted from person to person. People who have recently undergone medical procedures in Mexico, they should closely monitor for meningitis symptoms as it can quickly become fatal. The sooner the treatment, the higher the likelihood of survival. So medical tourism, including trips to Mexico, has been increasingly popular as patients look for cheaper options and shorter waiting times for various procedures such as dental care, surgery, cosmetic surgery, and fertility treatments. All medical procedures have inherent risks and complications that can occur irrespective of location. But it's important to seek medical treatment immediately if complications are suspected, regardless of whether the patient is still in a foreign country or has returned home. Now, the recent suspected cases of fungal meningitis in Texas, these serve as a stark reminder of a similar outbreak in the past that had significant implications on public health. So back in 2012, there was a fungal meningitis outbreak that occurred, which was linked to contaminated steroid injections. This incident exposed a considerable weakness in our healthcare system and it shed light on the potential dangers of medical procedures. So this spanned across several states infecting hundreds and leading to a shocking number of fatalities. It was traced back to the New England Compounding Center, the NECC, which had distributed tainted batches of steroid injections to medical facilities across the country. Now these steroid injections, they typically are used for pain management and they're found to have been contaminated with a fungus called, if I can pronounce this correctly, Esorhylum rostratum. So the patients who received these contaminated injections, they began to present with symptoms such as headaches, fever, nausea, and neck stiffness. Unfortunately, due to the rarity of fungal meningitis and the subtle presentation of symptoms, initial diagnosis was often delayed, leading to severe complications and in some cases death. So drawing from these past lessons, healthcare officials are now responding proactively to the cases in Matamoros, Mexico. It's also a reminder as to why using sterile equipment and sterile drugs is crucial in order to prevent this exact type of scenario in future.